Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA or two-factor authentication on Binance in 2024. So today, we're focusing on enhancing the security of your Binance account by enabling the 2FA or two-factor authentication on your account. With 2FA, you will add an extra layer of protection to your Binance account, safeguarding your digital assets. So join me as well go through the steps of enabling 2FA and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, of course you can even like use your phone for this tutorial. Just go and download the Binance app if you don't have it. And if you have it, make sure to go and log in into your account. If you have an account, go and create a new account. So if you're on a PC, just go to this URL section. Just type Binance.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of Binance right away. If you have an account, basically, you'll be able to click on login here and login into your account using Google or Apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging into your account. And if you don't have an account, you'll be able to create an account with the same options. So for me, I'll just go here, click on login and try to log in into my account. My first account in here. And of course, they will need a code on the Authenticator app because for me, it's already like enabled. So I'll basically have to go to my Authenticator app on my phone and simply try to get the code from that. So I'll simply go here and enter that code right away in here. And yeah, they should log me into my account right now. So yeah, I'm logged in into my account. So first of all, if it's your first time, of course, on Binance, and if you're, you make sure to verify anything that they ask you, like your ID or anything, make sure to verify your account so you can access, of course, all the features by Binance. So of course, when you're, if you're on your phone, you'll have to go to your settings as I'm going to do here on my PC. On my PC, as an example, on this list panel, I'll find a settings option. I'll just go and click on that. For you on your phone, you will find your settings normally at the top right corner or top left corner. Just go and click on your profile and make sure to access its settings. On PC, as an example, we'll basically have to locate the security settings and you will have to do the same on your uh, phone. So just go and try to locate the security settings. As an example, here you have notifications, preferences, trade, a link and account, and privacy. So since I didn't find security here, normally I shouldn't find this like, if I didn't find this here, I'll just go here again to my account and yeah, click on account instead. Of course, for you just on phone, click on account or settings and basically you'll have to locate security. So for me and account, as you can see, I'll find security in here. So I'll just go and click on security. And as you can see, I'll find here the 2FA or two-factor authentication. For me, as you can see, it's already enabled. I'm using this authenticator app option. For you, of course, you can use not just this one. You can use a lot of options like pass keys, authenticator app, email, phone number, or login password. Of course, I have it uh, like I have the email and authenticator app. Of course, you can add this all if you want to, but normally like the email authenticator app is uh, like usually fine together and it's recommended to use the authenticator app. And authenticate, if you're going to use the Authenticator app, because that's all I'm going to talk about in this video, make sure to go and use the Binance slash Google Authenticator to protect your accounts and transactions. For me, of course, you can use other uh, like uh, apps other than Google Authenticator, like Microsoft Authenticator, uh, MyDeo, uh, Password One. There are a lot of apps, but for me, I'm using Android and I'm using this Google Authenticator. So you'll have to go and download it on your phone. Uh, so, sorry, not this one. So Google Authenticator. I'll just go to show you how is it. So this is going to be the app. And once you open it for the first time, you'll find yourself here. Click on get started and login into your Google account. And simply you'll find yourself with a screen like this. You can click on this plus button and simply scan the QR code or the setup key provided by Binance. If you're using your phone, basically if you can ask any QR code, you can uh, simply enter the setup key. So for me, it's already enabled. But for you, of course, you'll instead of manage here, you'll find enabled like this one. So for me, if I click here on manage, as you can see, I can delete it. Let me just go and delete it and show you how to do it from the beginning. Of course, I'll go to the latest. I'll need the code from the app. So I'll simply go here and enter that code again. 
and okay i'll need the app uh, the email also it seems so let me just go here to my email provider and for the code uh, 096 so 096 and 574 so sorry so 574 and yeah so it deleted now i can go back and here's an example i'll just go to enable it i'll simply go and click on manage as you can see i have nothing so i'll have to click on enable open Keter app once i click on it as you can see it will give me a qr code to scan and a setup key so if you're in your phone you'll not be able to scan the qr code with the same phone that you have google authenticator on so you'll have to copy this qr uh, this setup key and enter it in google authenticator if as an example you uh doing it on the pc like me you can scan the qr code so click on this plus button on google authenticator and click on scan qr code once you do so simply scan it with your phone once it's scanned click on next once you click on next, you'll have to enter the code that is provided now by Google Authenticator, like this code right here. And the code, of course, will change every 20 seconds or 30 seconds, I guess. So make sure to enter it before it changes. So as an example, I'll enter that code in here and click on submit. And as you can see, it will be enabled on this date. And of course, if you click in here, are you sure you want to change Authenticator app? As an example, this if you want to change the app, if you want to, you'll be able to. For me, I don't want to, so I'll just go back. And as you can see, it's enabled now without any problem. So, of course, as we said, if you uh, cannot like scan the QR code, click on plus and setup key and enter the setup key provided by the Binance. Once you enter it, of course, if you enter the setup key, you'll have to give it a label. So, for the name, and said this is going to be the label, which is black font. So, give it a Binance name so you can keep it in mind and remember it whenever you try not, uh, trying to get the code. And simply click on uh, next and enter the code and you will be able to activate it or enable it on your Binance account right away. So there you have it. You successfully understand or know how to uh, activate the 2FA on your Binance account in 2024. With the 2FA activated, your digital assets are now better protected against any unauthorized access. So keep your authentication method secure and continue enjoying a secure trade on Binance. So thank you for prioritizing the security of your crypto assets. And of course, if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.